Hello, welcome back to Beauty Bee and to the very last day of uh, Starter Makeup Weekend. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I really had a fun time making them. I started out Beginner Makeup Weekend by putting together a makeup starter kit from my own collection. Now that's a pretty common genre of video in the YouTube beauty sphere. I feel like most, uh, of, at least of the big gurus, have cut, put together a starter kit of drugstore makeup at one time or another. So I've looked at six and we're going to look at how much the makeup kits that these individuals put together would have cost. That seems appropriate for our budget conscious beauty uh, channel, right? Now, before we get into the numbers, I wanted to get into how I calculated the prices. Now, a lot of these YouTubers, I think almost all of them offered, you know, some different alternatives. They might have a matte foundation and a dewy foundation for people with different skin types. In those cases, I chose only the first one that they linked down in the description box. And I additionally took out any tools that they mentioned, so sponges and brushes. For an illustration of this, we can look at the drugstore makeup kit that I put together. Now, the original kit consisted of nine items for a total of $57.27. However, under these rules, both brushes that I included in my list would not be counted towards my budget. And additionally, because I included two lipsticks, I would take the second off. In my case, I listed this Revlon lipstick second, so that is not included in my total and I end up with the grand total of 42.12. Now, I also feel like it's worthwhile to start out with a disclaimer. This is not a no judgment zone, but it's, it's, a, it's a little bit of judgment zone. I understand why these six women whose kits we're going to be talking about today have a larger and more expensive starter makeup kit than I came up with. I mean, these are women I happened to pick all women, that wasn't a conscious choice, it just sort of occurred, who have built their livelihoods around makeup. It's a really central focus in their life in a way that it isn't for me and probably most of us. They're also people who probably have quite a bit more disposable income than a lot of people, probably the majority of people, including me, have, and put it towards makeup first as a passion and now as a career. So I totally understand why their starter makeup kits would be significantly more expensive than mine. However, I do think it is worthwhile as more average consumers to think critically about just how much this lifestyle that is being put across as, you know, somewhat minimal, beginner friendly, easy to get into, and overall not too expensive, really would cost. All disclaimers out of the way, I think we should work from least expensive to most expensive, and then we can do a little bit of overview at the end. So the least expensive routine that I came across was that of Allie Glines. Now, in her video, by the way, all of these videos will be linked down in the description box, so if you wanna check them out, go for it. Um, her routine would have come to $90.61, and it consisted of 12 steps. I believe this is the most minimal routine we will be looking at, just in terms of the number of products, as well as the cost. I said that so confidently, and then was immediately proven wrong as soon as I clicked to the next page of my Excel spreadsheet, because it turns out that the most minimal in terms of the number of items routine we're going to be looking at is that of Andrea Matiliano. Her routine consisted of 11 products for a grand total of $98.54. Here is one that I was a little bit surprised by. I kind of assumed that Emily Noel would be near the top, at least in the number of products that she included, just because she seems to be a very full face, everyday kind of woman. I mean, I haven't watched her in about a year, so maybe that has changed, but 
when I was watching her, it was pretty, it was pretty full glam every day, you know, lashes to go pick up her daughter at preschool, which is kind of fun, actually. Anyway, her total came to $108.45, and she included 14 products in her routine. The two largest routines, both as far as cost and the number of products, land at the end. Next up, we have Zabrina. Her drugstore makeup kit had a total of 16 items, and the price added up came to $130.56. I was originally going to include Soph from Soph Does Life in just the overall ranking. However, I realized that it's probably not exactly fair. She's a British YouTuber. She was linking the UK sites and therefore all of the prices were in pounds. Now, obviously, I'm not just going to directly compare prices in pounds to prices in dollars. I understand why that would be ridiculous. But I also was thinking about how tax rules, how taxes are included in prices in some parts of the world versus not in the US, as well as differing prices in Europe versus in the US might impact my ranking. It, it could seem that even after um, currency conversion, that wouldn't be quite a fair comparison. So she's off on a category of her own. Her makeup starter kit would have come to 16 items, which in pounds was 116.44 and converted to US dollars using the conversion rate as of last Saturday was $160.69. So overall, hers actually would have been the most expensive routine. However, as mentioned earlier, it didn't seem like a really fair comparison. So she's our uh, honorable mention. And then last, but certainly not least, we have, drum roll please, Laura Lee. Laura Lee's drugstore makeup kit had 16 items in it, so the same size as Zabrina's and as uh, Soph's, and the total came to $147.15. Now that is a huge difference. There's a $57 difference between Ally Glein's $90 routine and Laura Lee's $147 routine. It is sizable. That is 60% on top of Ally Glein's really not that cheap for most of us routine to get to Laura Lee's. And I think through looking at these kits, we can start to see some ways that maybe we as consumers could save a little bit of money. Now first, there is the need to have one of everything. Like, I believe that Sabrina had both a liquid liner and a pencil liner. Now likely if you are just starting out, you can pick one of those. I would suggest the pencil liner personally, though your mileage may vary, and just stick with that until you decide you're comfortable and if want to branch out or just decide that you're fine as it is. Lashes are another one that some people included and some people didn't. Now I'm speaking from the perspective of someone who never wears lashes, but I think those are probably skippable for most beginners as well. Um, we've all seen the wonkily applied eyelashes and they are maybe not quite as beginner friendly as we would like to think. Let's let's be nice and put it that way. I think we can also take from this that if you are willing to use fewer products, that you can actually spend a little bit more per product while still uh, saving a little bit of money. And we're going to use Ally Glein's video again. Now, as far as average price per item, hers came out to $8.23, which was pretty much in the middle of the pack for cost per unit. Um, the one that I would like to compare her to is Emily Noel. Emily Noel's average price per item was $7.75. Now that's not a huge difference, that's 48 cents. However, when you look at the fact that Emily Noel was choosing, in general, a little bit cheaper product, I mean she included some e.l.f. products that were $2 each, she had a $2.99 Wet n Wild quad, so 
it would seem that those were really budget-friendly choices. However, because she ended up accumulating 14 products instead of 11, she ended up spending about $20 more than Allie would have. And apply that to our own lives and our own budgets by considering how we can pare down our routines to fewer products, potentially even slightly more expensive products, rather than keeping a rather large routine, a varied routine, and needing a lot of items, even if they are quite inexpensive items to do that. Now, the final point I would like to make is that you don't necessarily need a full face of makeup. Even if you want to start wearing makeup, even if you want to get into makeup, you don't necessarily need every step. It is one thing to note that all of these influencers, and I'm, again, not judging for this, I understand that this is how they make their living, and, you know, if I could make decent money for magic links, you, I totally would. These were all affiliate links, and it's worth it to note that they have a vested interest in getting you to purchase more makeup. I mean, they're making probably between 5 and 10% commission on every item you purchase by clicking through one of their links. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful and or interesting. Please consider liking and subscribing if it was. And just on another note, thank you so much for watching this beginner makeup weekend. I really thought it would be fun to try to do some more themed videos all in one, and I think I will do more of these themed weekends in the future. Probably not for a little while. I'm thinking maybe one, possibly two a month. Um, anything more than that might be a little bit overkill. And also, just in general, thank you for uh, putting up with me as I experiment, try out new things. I have really been enjoying being able to do that, and I appreciate it very much. Thanks again for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!